Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Alameda County District Attorney Nancy O'Malley. in my office. He would join the class of 2005. Now when he came in for that interview, he made a very strong impression. He was a mix of personality, engagement, confidence, and humility. And he was 23 years old. He show, showed us that he was a true man of character. And he had a vision for the future, not just for his future, but what he could do to help the community to help justice, to help people be safe, to help people thrive. Turned out that he was a natural leader in the DA's office, not just a leader among his peers, but Eric ha had an executive leadership perspective. That's somebody who can not only be a leader, but also has the vision for the future and knows how to bring people there with him. He provides clarity, he provided organization, that could help achieve the goals that were being set. And what was really impressive was that he was able to engage others to join him. His colleagues, his friends, join in the vision and walk with him to that future. I was very impressed that he had that capability at such a young age. He also had confidence. His confidence, that confidence was such that it would set other people's mind at ease, including mine, since I was his boss, and he was soaring into the future. But he, we were, he had a confidence about where the future could take all of us, first in the county, then in the state, and now in Washington, D.C. And that confidence was there not because he was driven by his ego or driven by his own gratification, it was out of his sense of goodness, his sense of right and wrong. That was part of his conscience, and it was part of his DNA. Sort of a blend of nature and nurture. So while he has these innate qualities, we really have to shout out to his parents, Eric and Vicki, for the job they did in raising Eric and his three brothers. Now these observations are not just mine. In the audience today, there are lawyers, defense attorneys, prosecutors, civil lawyers, there are court reporters, there are judges who have retired from the bench. There are victims of crime that had Eric touched their lives when he was prosecuting. And people throughout the whole community that know Eric and know that who he is as a person, who he is as a public servant. His humility, in spite of all of the accomplishments he has, in spite of his resume, his tremendous sense of humility, he could be strong for a mom whose son had been murdered. He could be, he could be share a tear with youth from Parkland who lost their friends in a mass shooting. He could sit with the police officers and give them feedback and education and understand the difficult job they had protecting all of us. And what he really exuded was he was like so many in America, a man with a young family trying to bring a brighter future for, him, for them and for our community. He's a man who is challenged with his own student debt, and he really never has lost sight of the fact that he's a true public servant. He is America, a man like our country, with values and principles, with energy and passion to achieve the goals and needs of America. When, in 2010, Eric was a deputy DA and he accompanied me to Washington, D.C. And it was in that moment that I knew he was destined to be back there. 
as a leader of our community, as a leader of our state, as a member of Congress, and as a future leader of our country. While Eric now has certainly grown in his skill, in his huge breadth of diverse amount of national in, in knowledge, his influence, his ability to speak for and to all people, those are certainly pluses. But it's Eric's core values, his innate leadership, his ability to dream the future and make it happen, his collaborative, respectful nature, his confidence mixed with his humility. Those qualities are what define a person and what define a true leader. And should my friends define the next president of the United States of America? So to quote our friend Eric Swalwell, go big, do good, and be bold. That is our Eric Swalwell. And now it's my pleasure, my pleasure to introduce Congressman Ruben Gallego of Arizona's 7th District. He serves in the Congress with Eric Swalwell. Congressman Gallego is a Marine Infantry veteran who served in Iraq. He's a son of immigrants. He's a now a three-term member of Congress and a good, loyal friend of Eric's. Like Eric, Congressman Gallego was the first in his family to go to college. After graduating from Harvard University with a degree in international relations, he joined the Marine Corps, as I said, serving in Iraq with a well-known combat unit, Lima Company, 3rd Battalion, 25th Marines. The loss of a, close friend in, of a close friend in combat and his desire to help fellow veterans motivated him to get into government. Congressman Gallego was elected to the Arizona House of Representatives in 2010, where he served as the Assistant Minority Leader. He led the opposition to a controversial anti-LGBT bill that the governor ultimately vetoed. He has run several campaigns. In fact, he was the campaign manager for the first defeat of the gay marriage ban. He also led pushes to expand Medicaid, and secure in-state tuition for veterans. Congressman Gallego was elected to Congress in 2014 at the same time as Eric. He serves on the House Armed Services Committee and the Natural Resources Committee, where he, he is the chair of the Natural Resource Subcommittee for Indigenous Peoples in the United States. Congressman Gallego is also a charter member of the Future Forum a group that young, of young Democrats that Eric founded in 2015 to listen to and act upon the concerns of millennial Americans, our nation's biggest, most diverse, and best educated generation. Now both Eric and Ruben travel a lot through the future forums, meeting with young people to talk about the issues they're confronting, student loan debt, achieving the American dream that we all hope for, and such. But they often brought their families along, which meant that many times Eric would babysit Reuben's kids and Reuben would babysit Eric's kids. Honor, family, and country. These two men live these values every day, not for themselves, but for us. So please give a warm welcome to Congressman Reuben Gallego.